everybody welcome back to another movie review hope you guys have been enjoying the content on the channel as of late and uh this review i am i'm promise you i'm gonna make it short and sweet just because uh, i actually want to eat some lunch uh, just because uh, i'm just getting a little hungry but um but i was very interested to see this one uh mainly because of the streak that adam sandler has been has gotten in his career lately um and that film of course that we're talking about now is spaceman uh, the latest from Adam Sandler, um, directed by jo Johan Rennick, who is mostly known for, um, mostly uh, was a singer for a period of time, but then transitioned to filmmaking, specifically in the television front, uh, known for directing a few episodes of Chern uh, Chernobyl, um, Walking Dead, Breaking Bad. Uh, previous directorial efforts include a film called Downloading Nancy way back in 2008. So uh, this is his second feature uh, starring Adam Sandler, uh, Carrie Mulligan, uh, Isabella Ros Rosalini, and Paul Dano. And uh, tells a story of an astronaut played by uh, Adam Sandler. And he is sent to uh, you know just far reaches of space as there is a purple strand that is appearing in the sky and uh it's you know just this odd little phenomenon that's happening on the outs in in space and it can be seen even within uh, uh earth's view so they send adam sandler off to investigate uh what is happening out there and through the course of six months uh he's falling into some sort of uh into some uh, what appears to be insanity and starting to slip mentally and um and eventually what is birthed perhaps from such psychosis and from that just that that descent is this uh spider played voiced by paul dano that starts to um um to basically conduct some sort of therapy with Adam Sandler's character, deconstruct his emotions and understand his dilemmas on Earth, how he ended up in the circumstances and now, and emotionally why he is the way he is at the present moment, which is um, dealing with some with a uh, with with a uh, with a uh, certain kind of depression, um, which is primarily what the film centralizes on is about depression and about our our. Um, the origins to that, and in the case of this particular character, the the selfishness, the self infliction that is brought that has brought on his depression, the narcissism that was there in his past, that it has informed his present self, which is this lonely like quality, purely that loneliness that is where it is spawned from, um, and. Um, there are uh, apparent influences, you know, apparent pieces of science fiction that take, you know, uh, that take priority within the shaping of Spaceman. There's obviously ideas from Solaris, um, ideas, I would say, from, uh, what's the film called? Um, I'm trying to remember what the other film was called, but primarily Solaris takes priority of this, you know, a lot of the aesthetics and um, the nature of the film, which is very subtle and very quiet. Um, while also having this little um, uneasiness in the background and the whole idea of loneliness, the whole idea of being in the confined space and by design almost by the ship, it echoes a lot of that of Solaris, um, which is a lot of some pieces of science fiction. There's at one point it seems uh, it takes a nod from 2001 A Space Odyssey, um, but by overall feeling of how I feel about the film, it reminded me of Ad Astra to a certain extent, which Coincidentally, I was also scored by the same person who did Ad Astra, which was a Mike's, Max uh, Richard. Um, which is to say that a majority of Spaceman I quite enjoyed. Um, I'm surprised by the reaction of it. It's pretty, um, pretty mixed. Um, and I can see why, because it is a film that isn't isn't depth by th by thematic quality. When you watch the film, it's very apparent as to what is happening or, or what is just the general idea of what's going on. Um, you know, it's about, again, someone dealing with depression, someone dealing with um, wrestling with their past and with certain, um, you know, uh, with the toying back and forth with their past and present and trying to see how that can inform their future. Um, and the, the whole 
allegory, the whole idea of Space Man, all the little things here about the purple strand in the sky, what that represents. The spider literally says that's the beginning. And when you, you know, you put this all together, it's not hard to decipher what's going on. So, um, but, um, but what it lacks in overall heft and thematic quality, it purely makes up for in two aspects. Firstly, the performances. I, I, I'm very, very, um, tempted to say it might be Adam Sandler's best work. Um, I really love him in his other films. I think he was great in Uncut Gems. I really liked him in Punch Drunk Love. Hustle, he was pretty good in. Um, he's had some very good work as of late, but I think that by overall just approach and the sensitivity of the performance that Adam Sandler is putting here, I think it's just, again, just purely by just the work that he's putting in. I think it's just his best. I'm, I'm very tempted to say that um, because it's just very soft and very quiet and very subtle. And it's just, you know, uh, rightfully melancholy. And uh, the same could be said about the whole atmosphere of the film, which is, you know, very low, you know, very, um, I wouldn't say somber, but it's just very, again, very melancholy where it's calming, but also fairly depressing. Um, and it all is warranted. It, it, it works to the benefit to what they're trying to do here, um, you know, and how that informs the character. Because everything is meant to, uh, to um, is meant to reflect the, the character. It's meant to be a study of character, a study of psychology. And everything around the character is meant to be a representation of himself. And though you can't, you pick up on that fairly quickly, like just the whole thematic understanding, it is not so hard to decipher. Um, what gives that, what gives the film the depth, the investment, and the over, and the interest, which was there for quite a long time, um, it's only until the end, which is why I make the connection to Ad Astra, is where my interest started to go kind of, kind of, um, kind of less, because I'm not entirely sure if I like where they left things. I would have liked it if they had left things sooner rather than where we actually, uh, left things, because it just kind of, kind of deflates the importance, I feel, to some extent, the journey that the character takes. And I understand that ultimately that's where the character would end up because of just some of the um, the blatantness in its overall representation of themes. You understand where the journey is going to end. Um, but I would have liked it if they had just not had him in a certain spot, you know? Because it would have cemented more of a, of a, of a heft to the film rather than more of a surface, you know, more of like a, you know, a, uh, more of a, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? More of a mediocrity, you know, more of a, oh, okay, you know, so, um, but it's not to say the film overall was mediocre, it's just to say that that, oh, that ending point is just, eh, you know, but the journey to that end, I was really wrapped up in, and I found myself really engaged with, within its performances, within its overall mood, within its overall just build and atmosphere, I think that just the pacing of it is very good. Um, so there's a lot of strengths to Space Man. It's just that some of those um, other qualities within just the apparent, you know, um, knowledge of its themes and just the, the 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 ending point. You know, some of those small quibbles I have, I do have to take with Space Man. But thankfully, it is just, you know, um, thankfully it's just small issues and not issues that take my priority and you know, take over my entire experience in watching the film, because generally speaking, I was just really, really wrapped up in it and found myself really, really just involved with, just, I really love the design of, of the spider, because the spider, it's not some goofy looking thing where it's like, you know, all cartoony and stuff. It's a, just a realistic looking spider, and the very soft spoken performance that Paul Dano is giving gives it this intimidating yet very intriguing like quality and the overall like that sort of that sort of performance that Paul Dano is giving is the over seems really to me the overall voice of the film which is that there is this sort of intimidating but yet very intriguing like feeling when you are watching this film so um so I really enjoyed myself with Space Man I found it to be very very good um I know that thematically speaking and you know like, it is very apparent as to what is going on. It's not a film that's hard to decipher. Um, 
And for a lot of people, it seems that might be a detractor for it. And, you know, just generally speaking, everyone has their opinions, but, um, but I'm generally surprised because I, when I was hearing the reception for it, I, I was expecting something a little bit more, um, on the surface, but I got something more meaningful in tone and in performance, maybe less so to do narratively speaking, like by just generally what it's speaking on, but how it's speaking, like the, the vocalization, just the, its voice. Though the words are not meaningful, the tone of which it's speaking in makes it feel a little bit more weightful, and thus my overall experience with Space Man felt more, um, felt more, um, um, felt more satisfying, um, because if that voice was any different, then perhaps I would have experienced more of that wave of mediocrity that apparently a lot of people might be taking with the film, but... But I really enjoyed it. And Adam Sandler, again, just continuing to prove that he is a talent. And potentially with this, probably his best work. So, so yeah, so those are my thoughts on Space Man. I really enjoyed it. I was pretty surprised. And like I said, it has to do a lot with the tone, the overall vocalization, just that voice, just that 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 a center of the film, the, vo the voice that it possesses. It's intriguing. Even though, again, you know exactly what it's talking about. It's not speaking on anything, um, anything. Like, it's, there's, not, there's a lack of a mysterious quality to the film, absolutely. But what it is speaking on and how it chooses to speak through it, it's, it's investing, even though it is very blatant. So, But those are my thoughts on Space Man. You guys know your thoughts on Space Man if you guys have seen it. Uh, pretty good on Netflix right now. If you guys haven't checked it out, check it out. But let me know your thoughts on Space Man in the comment section below. And that's going to be it for me, guys. Thank you guys for tuning in. And until then, I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye.